the worst thing, you get homesick sometimes. I do at least. <laughs> Being away from my family. Uh, sometimes I have to go for months at a time away from my kids and uh, my wife and that can be a kind of a downer. You know, from, a, per, from the perspective of an underwater archaeologist, the worst thing about, about archaeology or about underwater archaeology or misperceptions of underwater archaeology is trying to counter international treasure hunting, which is really a serious problem around the world. There's um, a lot of misconceptions about the differences between archaeology and commercial treasure salvage and those things get conflated, get confused in the media and in popular culture. So it's um, sometimes it's really difficult to try and tease those apart and explain to people why it's important that we preserve our maritime heritage rather than exploit it commercially for personal gain. The worst thing about being archeologists is being bit up and coming back with unique funguses that you can't pronounce. It's probably just the fact that it's a really slow process. And so you can be working at a site for a long, long time, and, uh, and putting it all together takes quite, quite a long haul. So it's a very slow, uh, slow discipline. Some of the tedium, um, actually sitting down and washing and cataloging artifacts. I think the worst thing about being an archaeologist is always worrying about money, because it's very, very expensive to do field work and laboratory work. So one is always contemplating where the next dollar is coming from.